Hello. Back by popular demand. You know, all the dozens of views. Today we're going to do custom colors and custom color palettes in R. So let's say you want to personalize the colors of your box plot, bar plot, perhaps the lines in a line graph. Maybe you have a stacked bar chart that you want to customize. There are ways you can do that using hexadecimal code rather than RGB. This gives a value, a number value to the color. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I would recommend considering uh, for publication purposes or conferences that you look at the colors in a sense that colorblind individuals can still see what is on your uh, research as far as your graphs, because if you need to make your code and documents accessible both visually uh, for the masses. All right, so going off of the same sort of uh, runaround, you want to have ggplot loaded, remove the list, loader data, and here we have, um, I'm creating a new matrix that I'm calling CV palette, and within that are the hexadecimal codes. I'm only putting four. You can put many more than four if you want for certain colors that I want to then later put into my box and whisker plot. Where did I get these hexadecimal codes? There are great websites out there, but I will link this one below. It's called w3schools.com colors and color picker. You can go around the colors, or if you want to look at a certain gradient, they provide the hexadecimal code here on the right, and you can simply copy and paste that in to R, and that will then assign the color right into your uh, matrix that you've then titled CB palette. So for this instance, I have a purple and then other additional colors um, that complement or are distinct from each other for when I create my box plot. So let's load the color palette that I have created. You can name it whatever you want. I would tend to stick towards uh, palette and then C standing for color. And perhaps you just need to do that for your own purposes. So today's ggplot, we'll be looking at treatment by an enzyme that we measured, beta-glucosidase. We are filling by treatment. And we are using scale fill manual at the very end to indicate that we want to use the values listed within CV palette. So therefore, it's going to pull these four hexadecimal codes and assign it to the boxes that will be in the GG plot. Let's first load palette. There it is over there under values because it's a matrix. And here we run the plot and it's assigned those colors to the box plot. Without that, it's gonna just assign it based on my commonly used one, scale color viridis, which is a colorblind friendly color palette. So yes, you can use previously assigned color palettes, but if you want to customize, that's what we're doing today in the video. All right, maybe you want to find some funky color palettes. The last thing I'm going to touch on is, yes, you can find color palettes that based off of movies or uh, art in general. The example I'm going to use here is a Wes Anderson color packet, color palette, which is quite fun. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to show that briefly. You want to install the package and quote Wes Anderson. We're loading the library. And then what I've put here in quotations or as commented within um, R here are the different palettes. As you can see, these are all from different movies that he has created, Moonrise, Grand Budapest, etc. So We're going to use the same GG plot scale fill manual. This time we're doing values equals West palette. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's do Moonrise Kingdom. So I'm going to do 13, creating the same box plot as before. And as you see, the color palette is coordinated with the themed colors that are so. Um, famously associated with Wes Anderson style films. So, all right, that's a brief look 
at how to make a custom color palette with hexadecimal codes, as well as the fun that you can have if you're able to find or associate certain films or art and then add it into your data. All right, let me know if you have any questions below. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.